Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm in Wisteria Emporium. Now a frequently asked question I get out here on the farm is how am I going to get the wisteria out of the trees? So maybe you're dealing with the uh, wisteria infestation yourself or maybe you just want to know how I'm going to get the wisteria out of the trees. So in this video I'm going to show you my method for dealing with this wisteria that's wrapped up in the trees. So it's actually it's pretty simple. Uh, what we're going to do here, and this is what I do with all the wisteria wrapped trees, and this is how I've been able to clear every single wisteria wrapped tree out here on the farm. And I'll show you kind of the progress uh, as it goes. Every big tree that you see out here on my farm that I'll show you on this video was wrapped with wisteria. Just like this, or worse, when I first started out here. Now I have multiple big trees that have zero wisteria in them. And this is the process I used. I just come in here and we're going to go around this tree and we're going to cut every single piece of wisteria around it. Now we cut them up kind of high, you know, however high, it doesn't matter. Um, but cut them up kind of high and then down here at the bottom, because this stuff is going to want to grow back, we'll cut all of this and then bush hog around the base of this tree until it kind of starves out. Now, of course, you can use pesticides to kill this stuff, but unfortunately the same kind of pesticides that kill these woody plants like wisteria also will kill your trees as well. So you have to be super careful using it. And in a case like this, where you've got the wisteria wrapped around the tree, I just, I don't want to use any pesticides out here because I'm trying to return this to a more native natural ecosystem. And so fire digging this stuff up and cutting this stuff until it starves out is our best tool, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll cut this from the trees and go around the tree, bush hog it, and anything that's too big or we can't get to the bush hog will, of course, cut it free, too. So I'm going to throw the camera on time lapse and save this tree from the wisteria. Then I'll show you what it should look like in a few months and then what it'll look like in the future. Let's do it. All right, so now we have all the wisteria vines cut all around the base of the tree. We can actually see the tree now. Now a question and suggestion I get, that one was already dead. Anyway, a question and a suggestion I get a lot on the YouTube channel is why don't I attach a chain and pull this stuff out of the tree? That is a very bad idea and I will show you why. If you follow these wisteria vines up the tree, especially that one right there, if you follow it up, Maybe you'll be able to see that it's wraps back around the tree. That wisteria vine is completely wrapped around the tree. The same for every single one of these that goes up in the tree. I will pull on this one and you can kind of see how many limbs are moving up there. This vine will not come loose on its own just pulling it from the tree. It will pull all of the limbs out of the tree, which not only could hurt me, but will also hurt the tree. So let me show you what I do. So we're going to look at this big pine tree over here. Now I cut the wisteria out of this tree at the end of last summer, so it's been cut for a while. And we can already see what's going on here. The wisteria, after being cut from the tree, begins to break up and falls on the ground. Just like that. And we see these other pieces that are going up the tree. Will die just like that and fall out of the ground. I also have a lot of people that ask me why I don't turn these into walking canes or something like that. This is exactly why this stuff does not last once it dies. It decomposes very quickly and becomes very, very soft. 
just like that. So just like in the tree that we just cut all the wisteria out of the base, all of the wisteria growing up this big pine tree will die and fall on the ground out of the tree. Another thing to note is that as soon as you cut the wisteria, it releases tension. A lot of the wisteria vines are wrapped around the tree almost as tight as a guitar string. You can imagine how that hinders the tree. So as soon as we cut it, you'll see a lot of times the two pieces pop apart. And that's because the vine being so tight around there, as soon as you cut it, it loses tension on the tree. Not enough to drag it out of the tree, but enough that I'm sure the tree breathes a big sigh of relief. I would like to show you a success story out here dealing with this wisteria. This old oak tree here was completely wrapped in wisteria when I first started clearing out this field. You could not see this tree from five feet away. It was so wrapped in wisteria. I did exactly what we did, did at the beginning of this video, went around and cut all of the wisteria and let it dangle in the tree. I got a lot of comments, again, asking me why I didn't just put a chain around the vines and drag the ugly vines out of the tree. I explained to you why I didn't, but obviously we did not need to do that because all of the wisteria has long since fallen out of this tree. This is about a year and a half worth after wisteria has been removed, so a year and a half worth of time has passed by, and you can see there's no wisteria in this tree that's alive. There's still a few pieces hanging on up there, but they will eventually rot and fall out of the tree. Also, wisteria coming back. As you can see, there is no wisteria growing back up this tree right now. We do have some shoots coming off the ground. This stuff is dead. This stuff is alive. If you also notice around the base of the tree, all of this vine is dead. This one is alive, this one is dead. This I believe is due to being starved out. The wisteria has lost so many of its leaves all throughout here where it's been decimated that the vine is not getting any sunlight. It is getting nutrients from the ground where it's still in the ground, but it's not getting any sunlight from its leaves. It's not blooming, it's not reproducing, and it is dying just like that. Big question is, won't the wisteria come back? And yes, wisteria is a very tricky plant. It will come back. We can see these shoots right here that are still viable. This stuff is dead, and this stuff wasn't cut from anywhere. It's just died from losing viability. There's a piece of it that is still alive, sending out a fresh shoot. You can see these big vines have died. Now we come through, we bush hog this regularly, we keep this stuff cut back, and it will die. And we haven't used any chemicals on it. Now that being said, I'm not discouraging you at home, particularly from the, using chemicals if you have uh, wisteria problems or other invasive plants that you want to get rid of. There's certainly many chemicals that are safe and safe to use to kill that stuff. You can also cut it and then paint it with a chemical and that'll kill it and keep it from coming back. But one thing with the wisteria and chemicals that I've heard is you spray the wisteria with a chemical, it will kill it back, but then you're like, next year you'll have to spray it again because it'll come back up. And then the following year you'll spray it again because it'll come back up. And it's kind of a slow kill process. Well, the slow kill process has also worked for me out here on the farm in killing the wisteria. I've heard a lot of people say that the wisteria is just going to come back. And yes, that's true. It is going to start sending shoots up, but if you keep those shoots cut, just like you're mowing the grass or the fields, if you keep those shoots cut, it it cannot come back mature and begin feeding the plant and growing again like it was. So that has been your lesson on killing wisteria today. It's a terrible plant. You can still buy it at Home Depot, but before planting wisteria, definitely check and see what it does in your area because up north, wisteria isn't the problem that it is down here in Georgia. And the Old Bird Farm right here is the worst wisteria infestation that I have ever seen. It damages is our natural ecosystem here. Um, since I have cut the wisteria, I've had a return of wildlife. I've had a return of bluebirds in the more open areas. The trees growing here can finally breathe and grow. If you look at a lot of the trees on this farm property, they are all deformed from years of being wrapped up with wisteria. So there's no fixing that because they are already deformed, but they can grow and be the best that they can be now. Plus with my older trees, like this great big pecan tree, that's very old right beside my house. It was completely wrapped with wisteria too. And as you can see behind me, hopefully, it's completely clear now too. Now this tree will hopefully live 
a lot longer and not be hindered by all the wisteria growing in it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time out here on the Old Bird Farm. And if you want to learn more about the process of returning this ground into a somewhat native habitat, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time.